it's cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling Good evening everyone, happy Wednesday. I've had the coziest relaxing day today. So I gave myself the task which was sorting out the spare room which I have been putting off for pretty much half a year now and it's got messier and messier and messier and now this Christmas present's in there, it's just awful but i've spent the day just tidying it finding new places for things being really savage with things and throwing them in the bin um so yeah i'm feeling just really really good because it's actually quite clear in there now so that's kind of what i've been doing i've been listening to christmas music all day so yeah i'm just feeling really really cozy so i'm just about to make a start on my christmas wrapping obviously me and sophie are filming our gift exchange tomorrow so i need to wrap all of her presents I need to make a start on my family's. I've got three insanely huge bags next to me. So I've got a lot to wrap. Me and my mum do each other a stocking every single year and it's my favorite present to give her. So, first of all, I picked up this little velvet bag. This is a bit random, but Tilly has obviously just walked in the room because she can hear me rustling. When I was younger, I actually had a bag just like this and it was always filled with sweets. And we've got loads of like home videos of me with this bag and sweets and it's really, really funny. So I actually found this in Sainsbury's and it had a candle in it. So I took the candle out and I filled it with white chocolate Toblerones because my mum loves these. Then I got this cute little Santa notepad from Paper Chase. They also had reindeer ones of these. And then I also got her this little Santa hat like clip. She's got some reindeer ones of these and she loves them. Then next up, I got her three different little shortbreads from Hotel Chocolate. If you haven't tried these, they are absolutely delicious. They're only a pound as well. So I got a snowman, a robin and just a normal milk chocolate because she loves these. I picked up this little Santa egg cup from Sainsbury's. I've been collecting these bits for months and it's just so nice when everything comes together. Then I picked up this velvet hairband from H&M and it's got these little pearls on it i know that she loves this kind of like minky color so she'll love that then what else did i get chocolate coins of course because it is not a stocking without chocolate coins i also got a two pack of cozy socks from h&m these are really cute they've just got like stags on i always think socks are the best thing to kind of bulk out a stocking a little bit god this is like the never-ending stocking i got her a pink sam's yankee candle car air freshener I got her a little Rituals hand balm. This is incredible. I actually got one a while ago. I think I got it in, it might have been a glossy box or it was my glossy box advent calendar, but it smells absolutely insane. Then I also got her a little mini Marc Jacobs decadence perfume because I got her the big one. So I thought it'd be nice to have just a little one for her handbag. Then I got another little Pink Sands car air freshener, but this is like the little mini jars. I love these. I think they smell for ages as well. Then I also got her this little, I think this is like a little jewellery kind of thing, but it's velvet and it's a heart and I just, she loves anything heart shaped. I could smell something really, really minty and it's this. Oh my god, so I can't actually open this because it's all packaged up, but this is the Polar Bear Lush Bath Bomb, so cute. I don't usually wrap everything up that's in the stocking, I'll just wrap like some individual things up so it's like a little lucky dip. Oh my god, this time next week it will be Christmas Day. That's craziness. I've saved all of my films like The Grinch, Fred Claus, Elf, Nativity, Polar Express, Home Alone, so I feel like I can finally start watching those. I'm going to put on Fred Claus because I really, really feel like watching that. And I'll see how much wrapping I get done. The reason I got a load of gift bags is because they are the easiest thing to wrap. I don't even wrap them when they're in gift bags. They just go straight in with a load of tissue paper. So that's probably going to be the majority of the presents.
world more annoying than sellotape. I literally just spent about 15 minutes trying to pick the end of it. God, whoever knew shopping could make you so sweaty. I feel like I've got a crazy sweaty top lip. A very happy Thursday to everyone. I have just been into town again to get my last minute bits. I do this every single year where I say I'm getting my last minute bits about six or seven times. I end up buying way too much. But today I made the mistake of buying too much that I couldn't actually carry it and as I was like making my way to my car I had to stop about six times I am furiously sweating as disgusting as that sounds let me put you down I need to catch my breath do you know what I can't wait to get my new car purely for a decent dashboard that isn't sloped so my camera can actually stay in one place so let me show you the size of the bag that I just had to cart through town Oh my god, I actually can't even pick it up. It's a Percy Pig bag and it's absolutely huge. <sighs> and I bought so much stuff today. I think that was my last official trip to town until tomorrow. Um, but no, I got kind of like all the last minute bits. I kind of got loads of bits to finish people's presents, like a few just like little knick-knacky bits to kind of add to them. Um, I also got Sophie another extra thing, which I saw when we went to town last week, but obviously she was with me, so I couldn't get it. So I picked up that. Our gift exchange is tonight. So I'm just feeling very Christmassy today. Sophie's also got the present from Fran to open. So it really is like Christmas day today. So it's now currently quarter past 12. To be fair, I've only been in there an hour and I was like a ninja today. Like I was in and out of shops like there's no tomorrow. I also bumped into so many of you today, which was incredible. I love meeting you guys. Like it... It always like takes me back a little bit. Whenever I bump into one of you, it kind of, it takes my, like, it's ridiculous this sound, takes my breath away. But it kind of just, I don't know, it baffles me every single time that people even watch my videos. Like to this day, I still think you guys watch my videos and yeah, it's just a little bit mind blowing when I meet you because it makes everything seem very real. I sometimes feel like I live in this bubble that, I don't really know it's so hard to explain but I love meeting you guys it always makes me super happy so thank you so much for saying hello and it was so nice to meet all of you who I met today um so the plan the plan the plan I always say that don't I when I edit these vlogs I'm like Gemma you say the plan is way too much but that's just what's going on in my mind I'm constantly thinking like right you've got to do this 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 and this next so I need to drop my passport off to the house people um there was a little bit of a delay on my house like I was told I was getting the keys on the 6th but now it's been slightly delayed so it might be a little bit later but then last night they said the 6th again worst case scenario it will still be January also 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 I feel like I kind of left everything on a little bit of a like abrupt note last night so the last time you saw me yesterday I was rapping a bit carried away I was watching nativity I decided to watch that in the end which I love so much um yeah I was in the zone in the rapping zone and I looked at my clock and it was like 10 to 6 and I literally had to wrap it up excuse the pun there but I really did and throw everything into a corner because obviously I had people coming to view the house and they really loved it and I think they're going for it which it kind of made my heart sink a little bit which is so silly because I'm choosing to move but I don't know there's just lots of good memories in that house and I'm gonna be very sad to say goodbye to it I might have a little sob um, but I'm gonna be very happy to move into my new house so yes went off on a little bit of a tangent there I feel like I've really missed you all today when I was walking around town I was like must update everyone <laughs> so then Sophie's coming over I'm gonna give her Fran's present then we are gonna get ready for our gift exchange and then film that so yeah very exciting fun festive day I'm feeling really really good that I've now completed my Christmas shopping I just feel like I can almost sit back and relax now yes it's time for me to go my car parking tickets probably bloody run out because i've just paid for it i have to do that really annoying thing where i have to press the button and be like hello <laughs> i was kind of sat in my car talking to my camera so could you let me out anyway i'll see you when we're back home 
So I've just got home, finished doing everything that I needed to do. I've actually beat Sophie back, so she is due any moment now. I've just come home to one of my favourite little parcels. So about a week ago, I got an amazing box from Bear Burners, which was just the Christmas box of dreams. And there were these wax melts in there that smell the exact same as the scent called Winter from the White Company, like they are an exact dupe. So if you do like that scent, definitely, definitely, definitely get some of these wax melts because they're insane. So I went onto the website and bought loads. Like I ordered three packs of these. This is how they come, super cute. Um, because I was obsessed with the smell and they're like a fraction of the price of the actual White Company Winter scent. So I also bought Sophie, a snow fairy candle because she loves the scent of snow fairy and I was going to get her some bits from Lush this year but she pretty much still has a lot from last year so I thought I'd get something a little bit different but this smells exactly the same as snow fairy and how cute is this little candle holder but rachel has very kindly sent some extra bits love you rachel so she has sent me two extra ones of these so i've now got five she's also sent me a candle version of the winter scent which smells insane and then a little tea light and then this cute little tea light holder love that so much so thank you so much rachel she sent me this last week so this is a wax burner and it's also a touch light and it's got all these like christmas kind of things on which i just love it's so adorable um so i constantly have favorite wax melts burning in here and the scent isn't actually called winter it's called christmas morning um so yeah, I will link these in the description box below, but I just can't wait for my house to smell like Christmas for absolute ever. And then from M&S, I just wanted to show you one of my new favorite discoveries. I actually had this the other week and it was so nice. You can get it in, there's a chicken one as well, which has katsu sauce, haven't tried that one. And then there's also a salmon one, but it's just so nice and really healthy. So yeah. I'm going to have that tomorrow and then I picked up some of these little ho 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 sausage rolls for our gift exchange and my favourite wine in the whole world. If you like Pinot then this is just so nice. So yeah, now I'm going to go and have a shower and freshen up a little bit because I feel sweaty from my shopping trip, I'm not going to lie. And then when Sophie gets here... Oh my god, we can start our gift exchange, which is so exciting. So, I just wanted to show you a little sneak peek of mine and Sophie's presents. This is Sophie's pile from me, and this is my pile from Sophie. Um, but we're going to be opening these very shortly. I have got Sophie's present from Fran here, which I'm going to take upstairs to her now. Chilling like an absolute villain. <laughs> <laughs> so you know the other day when i put those gifts on my instagram story and you said they were really cute the ones from fran yeah she got you a present too she got me one too your very oh own present oh my god how cute <laughs> i know so hey. close your eyes okay open that's not little oh my god well this is all for me yeah Hey bye. Hey bye. Oh my god, look at my hair. I look like Sideshow Bob. I wish my writing was this neat. Her writing is so neat, you'll see. Like, I thought that. It's like Mrs. Claus's writing. When you open these presents. Mrs. Claus? Yeah, you know, like, it looks... Oh no, not Mrs. Well, like Santa's writing. His wife's writing. <laughs> <laughs> not like I know what his wife's writing is actually like. <gasps> and Harry Potter wrapping Mine paper. was Grinch. Was it? Oh my god, look at this wrapping paper. It's unreal, isn't it? It's Hedwig. <laughs> it's who? Hedwig. Who the bloody hell is Hedwig? Harry Potter's owl. Honestly, the best presents ever. Hedwig. Hed Hedwig. I'm waiting for you. Okay, wait. Wow. I'm well excited. It's Christmas! It's literally like Christmas Day today because we've got so many presents to open. Nah. They're my favourite Chris in the world. Oh, thank you. God. Sorry, lads, snap into We all. were just downstairs and Sophie. Oh, I'm alright, thank you. We were just downstairs and Sophie was like, Do you have any snacks? And I didn't have anything, and you've literally just made our day. Crispy bacon and maple syrup. And when we first bought them, we were a little bit like, <laughs> But they're unreal. They're literally the best so nice. Crisp that ever did get invented. Oh, cute. Bath and Body Works. You can only get that in America. Winter's Berry Wonders, Fine Fragrance Mist. Ooh. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, that smells so nice, doesn't it? Oh, they're Aww. really you. They're the fluffiest socks. They're so cozy. Aww. It's still going. Oh my god, it's like the it's never like the ending. Gift, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> it actually is. Can you guess what that one is? It's a flora. You can tell straight away by the box. But what scent is it? I'm gonna go with something Christmassy, maybe. This is your um. This is your practice for our gift exchange. What my practice on how to open things. Yeah. Oh, this is the best one. Cranberry Isn't it? and orange. Cranberry and orange as their flora. What? Snacks. Snacks. God, they smell so good. Red apple wreath. Oh, they're really nice. They're Yan Yankee candles. Oh, I can't wait to light them when I get home. I love the little tea lights. They're really nice. Oh, little one. Mm -hmm. Using my cup from Fran. This is my new favourite cup. It's just so nice to drink out of because it's really big and like soft on the lip. I know. Oh my god. You don't expect something so tiny to smell so powerful. That smells unreal. Oh. Percy Picks. Oh, the veggie Percy's are so good. Sophie, how are you not shook that Fran knows this? I feel like the Percy, veggie person. The veggie the person's are Sophie's favourite. We must have said this in videos. Oh my oh, god, look at the Christmas are, ones. These are veggie as well. No, they're not. Yeah, vegetarian. Oh. Christmas Percy's! That is the best thing ever sold. I'm like in my happy bubble right now. I'm a film more. I can't, I can't cope with all this. It feels so much. Tiff made that. It's Harry Potter theme. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, it's got my name. I know. Look, oh my god, this is amazing. Is on it? I can't stare oh, it. Wow, how unreal is that? So this is from Chunky Dunk Chocks. I can't wait to tuck into this it's slab. So, it's so thick on it. I've got a Grinch one. Oh my god. This is amazing. Thank it's you like, so much. It's, so it's like the thickest chocolate ever and it's the most delicious chocolate ever. If you're looking for any gifts for anyone, like oh, I can't wait to the best. That. Isn't that like the best gift? If so I drop this out the window and there's someone outside the window, I could knock them out with it. It would just kill them. Yeah. Infinitely. Boom. So it's also a weapon. Wep, Got anyone wep, you want to kill? Wep, 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 death wep. by chocolate. And then it can melt after so the evidence is gone. Yeah. <gasps> and then you could eat it. So you could, kill so you could kill someone with this and then eat it after and then literally the weapon's gone. And because it's in cellophane, Tiff's what? fingerprints would be on it. <laughs> so we can Stop, stitch we're Tiff, you, Tiff Tiff, we're coming for you. Tiff, we're coming for you. <laughs> Aww, we've got matching. These are from America. Oh my god, this is so cute. American cups are just so much better than English ones. Oh, how cute. No, but wait, mine's better because it's got hot chocolate inside. Look how cute it is. That is so cute. What's your face again? Oh, there we go. There we go. These May are the best cups. Be These are like Pinterest bright. cups. They actually are, don't they? We oh, need I to do. It. We need to do. We need to do a flat lay with our cups. Oh, this is so cute. And I was just expecting it to be like tinny. No, they're like lovely. It's like such a satisfying size. I know. Like, oh, the made gingerbread biscuits. They're unreal as well. Stop. So cute. And they're all in different shapes. Oh my God. They are oh filled God, with like, brownies. they've got peanut M&Ms in. They've got marshmallow, I think. I'm not sure, but I think they've got marshmallow oh. in. Oh my God. I, I know. There's so many different flavors. <laughs> oh my God, brown. You're a genius in the kitchen. You're a wizard, Sophie! Oh my god, look at this! Oh, I need to get my, my muggins. How do you make it focus? Put How your hands do... behind it. I feel like a real YouTuber now. <laughs> Says you're a wizard, Sophie! Oh my god. These are the best presents ever. So cute. I, I want to see them all. Oh my god, they're so. I don't even like Harry Potter, and they're cute. What's your favourite? If you had to pick one, really, mine was the keyring too, it? and then this. Yeah, I love it. A Tiff got a Hocus Pocus keyring. What's a Hocus Pocus? You don't know what Hocus Pocus is? What? The 
Halloween film. You stop it so much. Thank you. Thank you, Fran. You've actually made our Christmases. Hello, Hello everyone. Man. Wow. What is my hair saying? Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, let me just, let me sort that. Can't be putting yourself on the internet like that. You just can't. God, look like I've been on a bloody four day bender. Crikey. Why is it so hard to do like a good messy bun? Like, I just want it to be messy, but I don't want to look like Hagrid. Do you know what I mean? Like, why is that so hard? I need like a messy bun tutorial. Okay, that is about as good as it's going to get this morning. So this is the face and the hair of someone who has been awake since 4.30am and has had about five rather large coffees. So yeah, it is currently Sunday the 22nd. You guys will be seeing this on Christmas bloody day. As you guys know, I was going to have like this week off, but my Vlogmas week three was so long, I thought I'll split it into two again. So I just want to start by saying Merry Christmas. I hope you are all having the most amazing day. I understand a lot of you probably won't be watching this on Christmas day. Um, I just kind of thought I'd get it up there, but whatever day you're watching this, I hope you are having or have had the most incredible Christmas day. Like, oh my Oh my god it feels so special to me to be able to upload this on christmas day and even if like one of you watches this on christmas day i'll be so happy because it means i have got to speak to you on christmas day like that makes me feel so happy so yeah merry christmas everyone there's nothing quite like the sound of burying um litter from tilly on christmas day so yeah that's a little christmas treat to you all from tilly but yeah it's just very very special to me that i'm able to just say merry christmas and i just want to say thank you to all for making this year so incredibly happy and all of your support and love and just being amazing i just want to say thank you so Yes, this morning I got up super early because I kind of want to finish all my work today so I can have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. Um, so I got up at 4.30 and honestly, I enjoyed it so much. Like, I feel like I have been so productive. It's currently half 11. I've got a few more little bits to do and then I've got quite a busy day actually. I am off to the post office to post all of my giveaway winners presents from gems gift guide um gonna send them first class next day so i am hoping you will get them on christmas eve um all of the winners have been dm'd on instagram and everything like that so yeah i'm hoping that they're on christmas eve and yeah i'm hoping after today everything will be done and then tomorrow i can just wake up i'm gonna get my nails done because i'm missing two i'm gonna like have a bit of a pamper day tomorrow so i'm gonna have a nice like bubble bath with some of my new bits from lush one moment i'm gonna sneeze <coughs> if you haven't guessed by the red reindeer nose i have got cold um but i'm powering through i will not be poorly this christmas it's not happening it's a no 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 it's not happening i mean my nose and throat say otherwise but my brain the power of the brain i'm gonna manifest universe you are not gonna make me poorly this year oh my god my arm is aching so much i'm so weak you're gonna have to go down here which is an even worse angle but hey ho you guys see me at my best and my worst so so yes feeling very excited feeling very just festive i feel like that festive feeling is in the air i feel like the beginning of last week i was feeling a little bit like not that christmasy but now now i've nearly finished work i feel like i can switch off and just enjoy so this has literally been me since about 4 30 this morning it's been so nice watching it go from like dark to light i felt like the only person in the whole world who was awake and it was a really nice feeling i pre definitely definitely wasn't the only person awake in the whole world but it felt like it um i've been watching christmas films i've been drinking my coffee i've been editing away oh also <laughs> these are some mini glasses that i bought tilly because i thought she'd look cute and she will not wear them so yeah it really saddens me that she won't wear them i mean i don't understand why why would you not want to wear cat glasses but yeah i've had a very festive cozy just lovely morning it's felt so nice and i think one of my new year's resolutions for 2020 is gonna be I want to get up early all the time. It's been so nice. Like, I can't even explain just how good I feel now I've got so much done. And I feel more awake. That might be due to the five coffees I've had. I don't know. But I feel good. I feel really, really good. 
oh my god i love coffee i literally love coffee so much especially in my new mug like coffee tastes so much better in this mug so i also got some really exciting news about the house as well everything is like going so smoothly i had a little bit of a scare last week um where the estate agent rang me and was like oh the completion date's going to be pushed back a little bit because it's a new build i was like oh my god no 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 like please like i hate it when my plans are kind of like disturbed if that makes sense the house completed i get to go see it for the first time tomorrow oh my god so exciting crazy that i haven't actually seen the house yet um but i've signed all the papers but i know that i'm gonna love it i've just got such a good gut feeling and then i should fingers crossed everything goes to plan get the keys on the 6th of january so that's when my moving vlogs will start I'm just so excited for the new fresh year like I don't feel like I've ever been this excited for new year I feel like 2019 has just been a little bit crazy like a bit I feel like 2019 has just been like this it's been one big roller coaster um but in my 2020 goals video which is going live on Sunday the 29th I'm gonna kind of like do a recap of 2019 and clear a few things up and just kind of like talk about how much of a weird year it was and people have kind of come in and gone out of my life and yeah strange year but a lot of lessons have been learned in that year i feel like a whole new person going into 2020 like i'm not gonna lie what better way to start off a new year than a fresh new start in a new house and i'm just feeling so good about it cannot wait um i've got some really good goals this year so i'm excited to share them with you guys i like to kind of get it up a little bit before new year just in case my goals kind of give you guys any ideas or any inspo and stuff like that so yeah that's kind of like everything with me i feel like we're very much up to date with each other now but yeah that is gonna go ahead and conclude vlogmas week three i'm sorry it's been a little bit all over the place like part ones and part twos i kind of underestimated how much i'd actually film so yeah i really hope you've enjoyed my christmas content this year this will be the last christmas video of 2000 and 19 which is crazy i feel like it's gone so quick but yeah i really really hope you've enjoyed it sorry it's been a little bit all over the place i hope you guys have had the most wonderful christmas like honestly i hope you just had the best time i am so grateful to be going into the new year with such incredible people in my life like you guys make my life so happy and you guys make me feel so loved and i'm just so grateful that we're going to be going into the new year together and yeah so excited to share all the exciting things with you excited to move i'm just feeling so excited and happy and i'm just so privileged that i get to speak to you on christmas day like that really means a lot to me so yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all your support this year and i just love you all so much and i'll see you on sunday bye oh, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Da 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 da, making our Christmas memories.